But the thing is, is obviously it's shown one side of the argument. And from a from a farming community side, this is their lives. This is their livelihood. If they can't sell their produce, their family doesn't eat. If they haven't, you know, and we're not talking about like long term, you know, when you know when we can grow everything hydroponically and we've got the facilities and we got we're talking about now, if their livestock doesn't sell at the price that that they need it to, what about what about them? Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah, I, I actually I do actually have sympathy for farmers. I, I really do because um, you know, as and the thing is, it, it goes along with my, you know, with, with my ethics in the. I, it wouldn't be right of me to be compassionate to animals and not have also compassion to to human beings as well. And what I would like to see, to be honest, is the government realise that there's a shift being made and them actively trying to help farmers into transitioning into plant-based things because that is where the industry is going. Um, and I think that farmers should be helped I, the last thing i really want to see as much as i disagree with what they're doing the last thing i want is a load of people not to be able to feed their families to end up homeless to not have money that does not generate a good society that is not good for anybody i want to see farmers helped to transition away from an unethical um, system to a more ethical system where they can still generate money and there are some schemes not enough of them but there are a few starting like there's the grow green report which is um yeah. the, the vegan society they actually took i think it was a i think it was a dairy farmer i think they managed to convert him over to growing um fava beans and okay. made his business more profitable which is really great that's actually, actually there's a really good film you might actually like it's i think it's called remember what the number is now it's 70 something i think it's like 73 or something 73 cows yeah. it's about a, a cow yeah. farmer who transitions um okay that is what i would like yeah. that is what i would like to see more of i, I do i yeah. don't want a society where we all because you know let, let's you know there are so many people that work in animal agriculture in the uk there are so many yeah. and just them losing all their jobs and suffering is you know is yeah. just fixing one problem and creating another what we need to do is we need to fix it across the board and we need to support farmers in a way to transition. So I'm very much yeah. for uh, for that. And I do have sympathy with farmers because I don't, all I think, all I think about farmers is I'm like, well, you've been brought up into this industry. Like you've been brought up, in, yeah, you know, not, not yourself. You know, yeah. A lot of farmers, have, you know, it's, it's heritage, like you said, Um, you know, so they've just been brought up into it. And, you know, this, it's not their fault that they work in a, a an industry, which is, um, which is which is unethical. So we need to help them to do that, and hopefully, as this plant-based you know, and vegan movement grows, the farmers will, will get more support. And I would be a first person to put my hand in my pocket if there was a, a fund to help farmers, and I, I would happily donate to to help farmers transition.